So let's take a look at the condo market in Winnipeg as it is on November 1st, 2020. So during the month of October, we sold 98 condos in Winnipeg. That compares, it's down a little bit. It's down about five condos from the previous month, but it's way up from last year the same time. And I, I consider the comparison from last year to this year more important than from last month to this month because condo, like markets change month over month. It's uh, how do they compare to the last year same time that I find more valuable and more important. And the most expensive condo sold during that month was $1.1 million in the waterfront district. So let's take a look at available condos in Winnipeg and compare that over the years. Um, just like houses, inventory levels have gone down, but not as dramatically as houses. So currently, on November 1st, we have 566 condos available compared to 641 last year. So that's about 80, 75, 80 condos fewer than last year. How that breaks down along price ranges in under a quarter million dollars. Right now, we have 324 available compared to 361 last year. And those condos that are quarter million and more, we have 242 available compared to 280 last year. Again, similar to houses, uh, sales are also higher than they were last year in, in, in the condo market. Over the past month, we have sold 60 condos under a quarter million. That compares to 46 same time last year. And in the more luxurious condos of a quarter million dollars and more, we sold 38 that compares to 28 last year, same time. So a way to look at this now is to combine the sales and the available listings. And what we come up with is what I call the inventory quotient. So the lower the numbers, the hotter the market. Last year at this time, condos under $250,000, that number was 243 days. That's how long it would take to sell everything that's out there, 243 days. This month, same time as last year, is 167 days. So from 243 to 167, it's quite a jump, uh, making it a much more active market. Condos over a quarter million dollars, similar story. Last year, the inventory level was 310 days. This year, it's under 200. So again, a jump in that direction that it's a, it's a, it's a hotter market. Still, when you compare this, 197 days compared to uh, the mid-range of houses, which are at 29 days. Um, uh, houses are definitely a much hotter demand than condos, which makes condos really an opportunity for that first-time buyer or that investor who wants to uh, maybe buy some rental property or people that want to downsize or, or like I said, first-time buyers. That would be a perfect option for them to look at. Also take a look at uh, how many new condo listings came to market during the month of October. And uh, this pa past month, like October 2020, we listed 234 condos into the MLS system. 234 compared to 264 last year, same time, or compared to 294 during the month of September this year. So that's that month over a month change that's much more dramatic than the yearly change. September still, there was a lot of new listings coming to market and you can see there's 60 fewer in October. And I think we're gonna see that trend um, continue to some point uh, for November and December as fewer people list their condos or their houses for sale during the month, during the winter months. Check out Winnipeg's Real Estate Podcast with weekly market updates, news, and advice for home buyers and sellers. Produced by award winning agent Bo Kaufman of Remax Performance Realty. Available on all major podcatchers, including iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. Find them at bonos.homes slash podcast. Missing an episode could be hazardous to your wealth.